What's going on, YouTube? Sneaker Loop 9 back with another sneaker review. Today, I'm going to be bringing you the Jordan 6 White and Gray. Super duper clean shoe. Mm. This is a beautiful shoe here. This shoe came out February 25th of this year, 23, for a price of 200 bucks. Um, this shoe was not hyped like the rest of the shoes like the reimagined threes that are coming uh, defected that are real shoes from Nike that are coming from the factory. Super duper messed up. Uh, you guys can have that. The Jordan 1 reimagined was mold up and sitting in the warehouse. Uh, these shoes came in perfectly pristine condition with no problems. You have top quality leather. And you also have top quality new book. The same is with the that suede on the uh, Georgetown Six. Beautiful, beautiful shoe as well. Uh, Semi translucent bottoms. Um, I haven't popped the top on these yet, and I've worn these a couple times. But the cool gray, I mean the uh, Georgetown Six is the reason why I got this one, and it's a beautiful silhouette, beautiful colorways, and it's a quality shoe. I have a wide foot, so this shoe fits my foot perfectly. Almost like a size up, almost. Its width is immaculate. Um, one of my favorite Jordan silhouettes. Of course, we know the six is where the end of the Nike um, era stopped, and then Jordan became Jordan brand shoes all the way with no Nike stuff on them. He just went uh, Jordan um, all the way with the Knicks after, after that, which is the seven. Uh, the shoe, uh, it came it came out originally in 91. This design, not this colorway. The Carmine was a colorway, which he won and wore in the championship when he beat the Lakers four to one. Um, this shoe is really, really beautiful. Um, these were $125 uh, in 91 when they first came out, in case you guys didn't know. Uh, him and Tinker were like Batman and Alfred. Alfred would be um, Tinker, of course, and, and Jordan Batman. And so they designed a lot of their shoes based on um, Porsche 911s, uh, stability, um, you know, and this shoe right here, this is that um, Alfred and Batman feel right here. Nice heavy shoe. This actually protected his ankles, a more high top shoe. Um, beautiful shoe, just a little history on the shoe. Um, icy translucent bottom, you guys see. Premium new book material. Let me show you that leather. That, that leather slightly cracked. Beautiful, slightly cracked leather. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful shoe. He also wore this in the 91 All-Star Game. The Carmine colorways. The black and the red, of course, you know. Um, beautiful, beautiful shoe. This is one I'm happy to have in the collection. Um, I really recently just got on sixes, maybe the last couple years of color waves. Uh, the black and red stuff always is going to go hard. Always is going to hit the the original stuff, the original color waves. And when you take it and throw that white and that gray on there, that cool gray and white, I love it. And the the tab is cool gray, the Jordan tab, string tab, and the back is white and gray with the Jordan Air on the back. Crazy cool colorway, like I say. Um, I'm gonna pull this back out one more time because this baby here, one of my faves. And now that these are in the collection, these are probably one of my faves now. Like I said, I'm a sucker for this icy bottom, which I probably won't keep clean. But the style of this shoe, immaculate, like I said, one that I love to wear. Um, shoe has a lot of history and I'm here for it all. But you guys, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know how you feel about these. Let me know 
how you're wearing it is how, like what do you think about the design is this a cool clean colorway or would you do this one versus this one like which one has more meaning which one has more more wearability you know but two great shoes this one right here though this is the the six gray and white beautiful shoe like i say like subscribe comment let me know how you guys feel about today's episode and this six i'll check you guys on the next episode